This week's video we have a VTG actuator diagnosis and replacement, so let's get into this. With the reported yellow engine malfunction warning on the dash, we need to identify what was causing this to occur. So with me trying to plug the VCI into the OBD port, we could fire up the Davy and identify the DTCs. With an internal power supply error and software verification can timeout, it looks like this is Donald Duct. We also have an intermittent power supply issue, which we will investigate further before calling the actuator. With the driver trying to make me double the length of his Anderson lead connector, I removed it from the air management system bracket and got the cab over to test the actuator. But before we can do that, we need to remove this induction pipe. With the pipe out of the way, we can remove the plug which has four connections, power, ground and can. We can test these with ease with these diagnostic leads which come in all different terminal sizes. We will just grab a new actuator, plug it in and check the voltage. The advantage of these test leads is that the component is tested under load as a complete circuit without trying to back probe the plugs. Links in the description if you want some. With a voltage within specification, we can say that the actuator is definitely getting changed. With a fancy pipe on the radiator drain and a box of gloves to stop me filling our new lights with coolant, we could drain the coolant out of the engine. Even though this is a simple task, it's rather awkward to remove these bolts from the actuator. We need to remove this well-placed coolant pipe which is right above the bolts. Who the fuck designed these things? With the coolant pipe out the way, I can get a 5mm socket, a universal joint, a long extension and work the bolts out from above by the EGR cooler. Happy days. The other two bolts are a doddle, and even with me throwing my bloody socket in the pit, it was soon removed. Now where's my gopher boy? On a serious note, this output shaft on the turbo needs to be checked for free movement. It has two stop positions which operate the swept distance from the nozzle ring. If you want to understand this variable turbo geometry more, head over to my blog at www.trucktechuk.com where I'll go more in depth with some nice crayon pictures on how this nozzle ring operates and how the actuator works. With a quick clean up of the gasket face, we have this o-ring to change here and these parts to fit from the fitting kit. The apprentice asked me what do we do with the spare bits from the actuator fitting kit? Well. We can add them to the other spare bits from all the other fitting kits I'm never going to use. With the old o-ring off and the new one fitted, we can apply the grease to the geared output shaft and fit the alignment dowel. Once this has its reference position set, we can put this pin somewhere safe. With a little grease left over, I can slap it on this o-ring and we can connect the new actuator, but not fit it yet. Back on Davy, we need to start the calibration of the actuator. With the gear aligned, the next step of this process is to fit the actuator. With little effort, it drops onto the correct position and we can take these bolts through the first stage of tightening. These 
bloody back bolts again. They went in eventually, as did the coolant pipe with the new O-ring. Now we can take the last two actuator bolts to their final torque and complete the calibration on Davy, where it moves the output shaft from one stop in the turbo to another and learns its swept span. With the actuator now done, we can clear the faults and refit the induction pipework, which is easier said than done. I got the apprentice to do this bit, as getting this on, I class as a life lesson. With him mastering the technical aspects of Jubilee clips, we could move on to refilling the coolant and not splashing me with it on the way out the pit. With my old pump packing up, we have this fancy new pump. With the coolant refilled, we can then take the vehicle for a test ride and send it on its way back to the customer. As always, hit me up in the comments for stuff I've done wrong, Drop a like and I'll see you in the next one.